Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. It's Eileen and I'm here to show you a bunch of stuff. Um, and thank you for coming to create with me. So uh, what we're going to do today, well first of all I want to thank everybody for um, oh, saying do you want to share this with all the people in my fan club? Sure. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming and uh, helping me out on Friday when I was over in Australia doing a Facebook Live. For some reason I got ridiculously nervous and um, I don't know what happened to me. But anyway, thank you for being there. It was really nice. Hi Holly, Charlotta, Laura. Hey! I hope you all had a good weekend. There's Maz. Maz, I put up an announcement just for you. Hi, Leslie. I hope you're good with the storms. Hope it passed you by. Well, Charlotta, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it must be uh, going across the ocean there. Just uh, freaked me out a little. Hey, Miriam. So here's what we did. Hi, Jane. That's what we made in our class over in Australia. Hey, Ulrika. So if you want to see how to do that, you can uh, scroll down and see on the in the Eileen Hall Fan Club or on my page, and it will give you um, the link to the video. Hey, Lisa. Thank you for your order, Lisa. Hi, Linda. Hey, Karen. Uh, Linda, I got the dye today. Oh, hey, Catherine. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by. There's Karen, Emma, Dora Bell. Hello. So it's uh, good to see you all. And um, yeah, you know what I did this weekend? I cleaned. Wait until you see my desk. You're not going to believe it. It is, it's amazing. I feel like it's a new life. Hi, Sob. All right, so we have a lot of stuff to do today. So I'm going to get going on that. All right. Um, we're going to have a new post up tomorrow, so I encourage you to go over and check that out. Hi, Brenda. And um, check out the new uh, ideas from the team because they're amazing. They're kind of out there. And in fact, one of them was like, wow, that's kind of what I was thinking for this. So we're going to do a project today. Hi, Dorothy. I don't have a sample done. But you will see when I put the camera down, I'll show you what I have in mind. I think this is going to be a two-parter. Hey, Anna and Monica. Uh, because I don't think we're going to get it all done today. We have too much to do. So we'll come back on Thursday and do it there. Okay? Okay, Linda. Yeah, we'll see ya. Hi, Rochelle. So uh, I cleaned. Yes. Don't come to my... I cleaned my area. I didn't go nuts with it. I couldn't. There was enough to do here. So, but you'll see, hopefully. I had watched a video from my friend Lindsay Ostrom. She does lettering and um, she had ordered this uh, like a wood look contact paper from Amazon. So I got some. Hey Loretta and Jan. So I have it and I put it on my desk. It was an old desk. It's like a nice wood, but it just got beat up from all that I had done to it. Hey Bev! And uh, so I put it on my desk and I'm really liking it. It looks very clean and um, I, I did already bang it up though. I have some to patch but I don't know how long it's gonna last but at least it's here for now and it feels very nice and clean. Hey Jane! So I am using this right now. We'll see. I also um, want to thank you guys for your just beautiful comments that you had for Pam Bray. And I did make a little box last night. I made two. Uh, the second one I like better. I'll show you that. And we're going to put it together. And hopefully all of your messages can fit in there. I expanded the size of the font because I thought I could never see that. It was like nine point. So uh, we'll put that together real fast today, and then I'm going to send that out soon. It sounds like, I just heard from Mitziana, it sounds like Cal is doing kind of better than they thought, which is great. So um, anyway, I think and I hope that Pam will be encouraged by our thinking of her, and you know, who wouldn't be? I would love that. 
so anyway, I appreciate all of you writing in and um, sending her encouraging and comforting messages. Hi, Linda. Hey, there's Mitziana. I just told um, everybody that Cal was doing a little better. So anyway, that is Pam's information. I mean, but I know a lot of you know her and she had asked us to kind of say why she was not on. So anyway, yeah. It's hard when someone in your family is hard. And I know because my mom and my brother were both in the hospital for like months and we were going up there and it just, it, your whole life is just a mess because you're worried and you're not at home and you know, there's just a lot, a lot going on when people are sick. So, um, we're happy that he's doing better and we'll see what happens there. But um, anyway, let's, uh, yeah, keep the prayers and the good vibes coming for sure. That would be really good. So, um, what else do I have to say? We're going to open a box. This is something from Lisa Hole. You missed about Pam. Oh, okay. Lee, um, her, well, first of all, she got hacked on Facebook and Facebook is not returning her to her, her page. And, um, hey, Charlene. So she's, she is just stressed out. So her husband has some medical stuff going on. So anyway, we made like a little box for her. You'll see. We just had everybody put a comment in the, uh, the post and we, we sent her a little box of encouragement. So I'll show you in a minute, but, um, let me just make sure I want to talk before I turn camera down. So we're going to open this in a minute and, oh, also, thank you for your uh, Halloween projects. We're hoping to see more of them. We have a Halloween pro uh, challenge going on right now. So just post your photos in the Halloween challenge uh, album and there will be a prize at the end. That's a week from Thursday. We'll be picking someone to win the prize. And it's going to be random. We always do that. It's like, ugh, we don't need getting our feelings hurt or any of that. So we just do random. It's just easier. So uh, what's the other thing? Oh, also, speaking of giveaways, we have the 5,000 member giveaway coming up. Hey, ben Penny. <laughs> Who's calling you Benny? And um, we, it, you, it kind of came up fast. So I've been putting some things aside. I was wondering... Would you guys rather do like one big grand prize or would you rather have, say, three smaller prizes? You know, um, just let me know because, you know, I'm going to announce it on Thursday, but I, I want to hear what you guys would rather do. See, me, I would rather have the chance of winning three times, <laughs> maybe not the big prize, but, um, you know, have three chances instead of only one chance. So, hey, Jody. All right. I know 5,000 members. It's crazy. Yeah, it's great. Well, you know, the other day, smaller. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go through later and see what everybody says, and then we will make up the... Pe All right. Everybody's saying three smaller ones. Okay. <laughs> More happy winners. That's right, Catherine. Yeah, that's what I think. And it's still... They're going to be good. So, uh, yeah, share the love. Okay, all right, it's decided. Um, yeah. <laughs> Three more people have a chance. I agree. Okay, let's do that. More people to be happy. Yes, yes, yes. And in the meantime, 5,000 members? It's crazy. We never thought we would get here. And here we are, 5,000 and something and more. So uh, we will be selling, celebrating that for a while, okay? All right, um, what else? Oh, also, thank you for your suggestions for our December event for names. We're going to have a prize over there, too. Um, and that's going to go by whoever picks the most popular name. That is, uh, you know, and you're still free to put in more um, suggestions. We're doing kind of a December daily. And um, so... It's not going to be that. We can't call it that. And it's not that anyway, where you do something every day in December. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're doing an abbreviated version. And it's going to be, uh, the team and I are putting it on. And it's going to be an event that starts on Black Friday. And 
it's going to go every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until two days before uh, th uh, Christmas. And we're going to have the team th giving out a prompt to the group. All right. So say they put out their, um, let's see your favorite Christmas cookies. I'm just saying that because I like cookies. <laughs> but there will be a different topic every one of those 12 days. It comes out to, I think, 12 days. In my post, I put weeks, and I couldn't take it back. I, I would have had to take down the whole post, and I didn't want to do that, and I can't edit it. So I want to tell you, it's um, 12 days. So it's kind of, there's a day at least in between each one. You can do it then. That's a good name for it. <laughs> Uh, you know, so keep putting those names in there, the suggestions, because somebody's going to win whoever gets the most popular um, name for this effort, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing in December. It's really exciting, okay? All right. I think I got everything that I had to say, said. So I'm going to turn my camera down. We're going to open this from uh, this box from Lisa and... You're going to see my clean new desk. What do you think of that? All right, hang on. All right. Whoa. Okay, sorry about that. Whoa. All right, that wasn't good. Good Lord. Hey, that's amazing. I didn't lose you. I dropped it and my charger came out. Hang on, let me plug it back in. All right. So I don't want to put Lisa's address up here. You're, you guys already have mine. <laughs> You've got my number. But um, let me open this. So I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. You never know when you get a box. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, look, this little guy nestled in our packing adorable and look at this it's metal isn't that cool the finish it looks like snow he's kind of rusty looking oh, I love it you know see now you just can't get that when you're on uh, you know in a photo you just can't get this these details that is adorable Lisa oh and here all right, let me just let me just take them out one by one over here. All right, I don't know. Is that something wrapped up, or is it just a piece of bubble wrap? Yes. Okay, I didn't want to miss anything. All right, let's see what this is. Can you guys see okay? I think so. Maybe I should put the camera up a little bit. What do you think? You like my new surface here? Let's see if I can make it straight. I was a little, a little freaked out when I dropped it on the floor. Oh yes, here we go. Okay, this is Lisa's... Oh, what is the name of that guy? The one on Big, the movie Big. Zell... Oh... What is the name of that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Zoltran. Zoltran. <laughs> Look at this. I hadn't noticed. I didn't know what that was. This is cool. The fortune teller. All right, maybe this is my fortune. You can't have everything. Where would you put it? <laughs> I would put it here, Lisa. Oh, look at this. How fun. It's a roll. Don't stop dreaming. Otherwise, sleep will get off <laughs> This, I, okay, I did not get that this was a roll of fortunes. Oh, this is even better. You will find happiness through crafting. We know this is all true. All these things. Oh, I did that even worse. Hang on. Okay. How hard is it to make this straight? I love this. Lisa, this is genius. Gypsy fortune. Oh, Wait a minute, it lights up? How could I have missed this? How could I have missed that it lit up? Oh, right here. 
All right, hang on. You know, see what I mean? You can't tell that. All right, I'm not sure how to switch it on. Did I do? Look at that. That is genius. Lisa, I'm so sorry. I didn't even get that it lit up. That is amazing. Wouldn't that be fun to have on your desk every day? What is my fortune today? I will find happiness through crafting. I like it. <laughs> oh my lord. This is amazing, Lisa. All right. This is cool. All right, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this straight no matter what. All right, I'm going to turn this off, but I, I think I might just put this on my desk every day and keep scrolling through and see what, what comes out. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, Lisa is a genius. All right, here is, and check this out. Look at this beautiful teacup. Isn't that pretty? I love that. First of all, I love Thanksgiving, and it always gets, you know, short shrift because it's between Halloween and Christmas, and they just go from one to the next. So this is just beautiful. Don't pull the tickets off. No. Yeah, well, you could just keep recycling them. <laughs> Hi, Michelle Brown. Thank you for having me. That was fun after I stopped sweating. <laughs> So look at this. She even did the back. Lisa is a technical, she just creative genius in all ways. Look at this wood. It really feels like wood. And her inking is amazing. So this is just beautiful. You know, it would be pretty to put out like a little centerpiece at the um, Thanksgiving table, wouldn't it? I love it. And you could adjust this, you know, say you want to do it for Christmas instead. Maybe people aren't coming over for Thanksgiving, but put some sprigs of uh, boughs and things in here. Maybe little candies or candy canes or something and just put, uh, you know, happy holidays or however you want to do it in a little snowflake. You know, you could easily adjust this. So anyway, thank you, Michelle. Beautiful. Ugh. All right, let me just check in here. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that was fun. Don't forget Mr. Snowman. All right, thank you, Lisa, for sending that. I, I swear I would not have known that that lit up. She probably wrote it, but you know, when you're not looking at it, you just does not compute. All right, let me show you some of the things that I was playing around with this weekend. Well, actually, last night. Because I wanted to make a box for Pam. Sorry, I am determined to get this square. I don't know how to do it. All right, I started playing with, I found this old journal insert, and it was black. And I just thought, you know, this, it would be pretty with the white ink. So I didn't do anything except I drew a line around the edge, and I lined out, I took a ruler, and I just, in pencil, or well, it was a wider ruler, but I just did a line here, line there, and then... I lined out, you know, journal, and I just wrote it in pencil. Then I took my white pen, and the ones that I use are these, and I love them. They're uh, the Jelly Roll Sakura, and I've got, it's hard to see, but I have an 08 and an 05. They also make a 10, but I hardly ever do anything that bold. This is done with the 5, and I really like the thin line. I don't know why. I just, in all my pens, I prefer thin lines. So I love how that came out. Well, then I thought, okay, I have some black matte board. Maybe I should try making a little journal. So this is the notebook. And I like it because it's got the black on the front and the back. And I wouldn't mind if it was also black inside, but it wasn't. So that's all right. So then I thought, all right, write journal on here. Well, I spaced it out wrong. So, you know, I did the same thing. I just did line here, line there in pencil, and then one kind of up here. So I knew where to do my, these letter heights. And then I was mad because I got done with it and it wasn't spaced out right. But then I made just a tiny little flower and I, I think it makes it, you know? So if you're lettering and you get, 
uh, nervous about it or you, you know you can always fix it with just a little thing that might make it even better than what you started with so yeah I love these and I've had them for a while I mean years you know usually other ones that I've had because I was using the uh, Signo white one but that one dried out a lot I felt like these I sw I've probably had these for two years and they're still great so uh, just a little shout out to Sakura I like it a lot so then I started kind of fiddling around and I was just you know that's not spaced out right but then I tried my blends inks on there so I want to try something on a, a big journal with the blends ink so that is on my uh, to-do list so uh, that's kind of how I got going with this. Then I thought, okay, I want to make one for Pam. So this is the box that I decided to do. This is the post box, the one that came in today, finally, thank God. Um, and we have it. I have it in my Etsy store. So what I'm going to do is just add my adhesive, and I'm going to put this together right now, and we will find out if the... Because these are all the messages that you guys sent so last night I printed them out. There were 10 pages worth of messages. I printed them out and I cut them. So they're ready to go. Oh, look at that. That was in my bag. It says love, but it's messed up. Anyway, I'm not sure these are going to fit. Well, I had also done kind of a failed box. I like the idea of the rainbow, but I just didn't like how I did it. So this is spare if we need to have more more room. But these are all of your beautiful messages and little... I love it. I think we just have the best group. So, all right. I'm going to put my adhesive. Now let me just make sure. You know what? I did this wrong. Because this is going to be on the outside. I should have done these white lines. So let's just go ahead and do... Because it's easier to do all of your lettering or line work when you are working flat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add them. They're, it's not going to matter that we have them on the other side. That's going to be covered up. So I'm glad I noticed that. And if they're not perfect, don't worry about it. It's just... I mean, it's meant to be handmade, and it is. So don't worry about how, if, you know, your lines don't come out straight or whatever, not a big deal. Okay, that's all you have to do. And that's what I did all around. And then I did, well, this, I, I inked this because I got all excited about that. And then I inked these, and they weren't drying, so I just went ahead and embossed them, and now they look kind of... I don't know if you can see, but just like kind of glossy accent. Yeah, it's so pretty on the black. I just love it. And then I just thought, let's leave a little note sending lots of love from your Facebook friends. So I just added that. And then I did the flap saying, thinking of you, Pam. So that's what she's going to get. And then, you know, we're going to add the little things inside. So I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, wait, I didn't add my adhesive, which is going to go here. All right going off track already that's okay no this weekend I I was just like I couldn't believe how much I got done it just I haven't had a weekend like that and honestly it's probably because I stayed home and we didn't go to the beach although we're probably gonna go this weekend all the kids were out there so that was funny all the kids were out at the beach and we were here Nice and quiet. And then yesterday we watched my little grandson Trevor, who's a little doll. He's like almost 20 months. And he and my husband were in there playing with the trains for hours. So that was fun. But in the meantime, I vacuumed. I did my desk. I just did a lot of stuff. But this is still making me crazy that I can't get a squared off thing here anyway okay so let's bend over on all the score lines and then we are still gonna do another pro well we're gonna start another project so did you guys have very good weekends you have more restrictions oh did I do this wrong yes 
should have done it. Oh wait. No, no, we're good. Never mind. Ah. You would think I would know by now. Yes, this is good. Okay. Oof. All right, and I didn't and I also thought, let's put a little Velcro on here. So I happen to have some black Velcro. You know, I love this stuff. So we're going to just finish this up quick. So I really want to see if these fit in here. I kind of have a feeling they're not going to, but they might. All right, so I'm just putting my Velcro in here. Put this together. So I hope everybody is healthy and doing well. Don't scare me. <laughs> Michelle Brown. No. No, I'm over that. I'm fine now. <laughs> it was momentary. Uh yes. I know. Isn't it cool on the black? I mean you forget about it. And you know, a while ago it was all the chalkboard look and you saw it all the time. Well now all right, so what I'm doing, just interrupting myself, I'm just setting this on the table here so that I know the base is going to be straight. Because I can't send Pam a substandard box here because she will know. <laughs> All right, that looks good. All right, so we've got the box done. Let's do our Velcro. Look at that. All right. Now the thing, <laughs> don't freak out, but I'm going to use my blade here because that's the only thing that it's so skinny that nothing else can get in here. My hand is far away. I'm not going to slice my hand. And it's only the first time that you open it <laughs> because then you can press these down. Okay. Look at that, how it matches. I love this. Okay. All right, Pam. So whenever you need to know that we're thinking about you, you just reach in here and grab one. Pam got hacked on Facebook. That poor girl has just had, you know, but I'm sure you guys have had this too. And that's why it's important that we take care of each other. And I wish we could do this for everybody because everyone has their struggles and it's hard. All right, I probably, well, maybe it'll fit. It's a lot of messages. Isn't that great? I could just put them in the little slot, couldn't I? They'll fit. It'll also hold a credit card. If anybody needs one of these, just let me know. They finally came in today. They are going to fit, by the way. Good. Because I think it's much more fun to open a whole lot of them at one time. All right, we did it. Where do you get Velcro? You know, Brenda, I can't remember. I think I used to work with Velcro and they would send me stuff. Like sometimes it was like experimental, you know, they were trying it out. Look at that, we did it. Yay, we should have one sticking out that says, we love you, Pam, or something. All right, I'll have to get one and just, you know, I'll do that. I'm afraid to open this up again, honestly. Or we could just have one sticking out, kind of, to show her, you know. All right, how about that? I don't know whose that is, but that is, um, Maz. Aw, very nice. Okay, well, yours is going to be sticking out, Maz. All right. So we finished that for Pam. Good. I'm going to put that in the mail tomorrow. And I'm so happy that Kel is doing better. She will feel much, much better after that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our little post box caddy. And to do that, we're going to use... Where did I put them? Oh, here is the card that we made on the Australia show. So if you want to see how to do it, go ahead over. I didn't put my little spoon on, but I'm gonna. I don't know where 
no. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. Let me show you what we're going to need. Okay, um, I did use my red liner tape. I haven't used it yet. We're going to use it to put it together. Okay, now I use chipboard. I used some that I had. This is 12 by 18 inch sheets. And the reason I like this is because some of it is 12 by 12. And when we're cutting the gift box, which this long strip, this is 12 and a half. And we could do it without using the flaps, but I wanted to use the flaps. So um, basically I use this long piece here and I had gotten it on Amazon and I just cut strips that are four inches long. I cut two of them because to make the box takes uh, two strips. So I already cut them because they're bulky and they get in the way. And ta-da, here is our post box. So uh, this is the other die that I'm gonna use today, okay? Um, you probably could use this mixed media board, but I didn't like that color. I like the more brown, so I use that today. But if you're gonna cover this with paper, then this is fine because you're not gonna see that. And uh, you know, but this one, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna finish this yet. And let me show you what I have so far, all right? Here is the die, the gift box that I put together as a base, and then here's the post box. And we cut off the flap, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. And we're just gonna have four of these, one going around all the way. And I think it'll be really cool. And um, I'm not quite there on how I'm gonna put that together yet. If I'm gonna like wrap paper around it, I'm not sure yet. So that will, <laughs> you will find out on Thursday. But right now I just want to cut everything so you can see how we're going to do that. Now this is easy. We'll do the gift box first and all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut two of these strips. We might use the ornament part of it but I don't know so I didn't cut any. We can always do that later. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to cover this piece here, the long, you know, long strip and cut two of these. And this, I should say, is heavyweight chipboard. It's probably comparable to our mat board, about a sixteenth of an inch. It's, I don't know, points. I knew it when I ordered it because somebody had ordered a bunch of uh, teacups before we got our new ones uh, and they wanted them at a chipboard and I honestly didn't have any so I ordered it from Amazon and I got the heavy weight and I like it because I I don't want to do all this work and then it's wimpy and it doesn't work so call me lazy but I just rather do it right the thicker the better so let's cut this one just do a search on her name that will come up with her face. Oh, Pam Bray, yeah. Okay, I think, I don't know. All right, so we have two of these. And we'll put them together in a minute, but first we'll just cut what we need. So we need three more of the post box. And I want to show you how to line it up, okay? So here's the die. This is the flap. We're not going to use the flap for this project. We're just going to have it open because I'm picturing, you know, putting in like index cards or uh, pens, things like that. We're not going to need the flap really. To me, it's just going to sit on my desk. So I don't need to have flaps on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cardboard just above here. And I just cut these to size, they're a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna cut three of them. Now, if you, you're using paper, you would already covered it with paper. Oh, I need another cutting pad. Uh, you would obviously put your paper on first and then you put the paper facing the die. But we're just doing chipboard because I haven't decided yet. I think what I might do is either sheet music or I might do dictionary page. I don't know, I just haven't. I just had this idea, so I didn't get there yet. <laughs> okay, this is good. So you're gonna have this. Now this can get chopped off 
later. I'd rather have enough there than not enough. So I didn't, you know, I'm going a little bit over here and I can always trim that. I'll just take my knife and chop that off when we're done cutting. And then we're just going to assemble these and then when we start next time, we'll be ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to cut one more. I just love that these dies, you can, you know, combine them with other ones. You can, you can use them for stuff. I mean, it's really nice when they're pretty and everything, but if you can make them pretty and use them, that's the best. Okay, let me just cut this one more. And then I have the one that I've already assembled, so I'm good. Okay, so this should be good. Now the other one I already trimmed, so let's just get our little cutting mat, which is arranged. And at some point, when I finish doing my desk here, I'm going to give you a little tour of my whole setup and why I have things where I have them. Because they were so inefficient before that I just said, no, you got to have it. It's got to work. So now I'm just going to take my blade and lay it in the ditch here and cut and trim off. Oh, I already did it. Oh, look at that. It goes pretty easily. Okay, and don't get off track here. I have done that. In fact, I just did. But it should be fine. You know, I always say just do light pressure and do it twice. Just makes it easier, less mistakes. Okay. All right, now we've got our pieces. So I used glue the first time to put this together because the only place that I used it was here. And I did have a weight. All right, so let's do this first. Okay, we're going to put this box together. Now this is not going to go together the way we normally do. Um, to put this box together normally, you would bend over the flaps and you would make two U shapes and you would fold them into each other. Wait, I'll show you one. And it looks more like this. It's, you know, it forms a box. But what we're going to do today is make an open, open shape one. All right, so to do that, we're just going to fold all these like that. We're not going to fold the flaps, okay? And then we're just going to take them and put that one inside and I'm going to glue the bottom. You could use tape. Well, let's just use tape. It's quicker because I don't want to have it sitting drying. And I also, when I do that, excuse me, I put uh, a heavy thing in the bottom so that it will... Uh, so it will dry you know, flat, but this is good. This is not going anywhere. Plus it's going to have the weight of whatever you put in it. So just for now, when you're putting it together, we'll just use tape. Ah, one more. Why not? It's not even, but it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to see it. So we'll just take this off. And still, this camera is not straight. How do people do that? I guess they're not transferring their camera. Like me. Alright, so now you just want to make sure you get this going straight on. You know, butt it against... Can you see that? Butt it against the uh, edge here. And if you set it down and just kind of feel this, you can adjust it and make sure that these are all right. And that looks good, okay? So the next thing that I did was I put rubber bands on here. So we're almost to this stage. I put this on, I put a little washi tape and I put rubber bands. That's gonna keep the shape. And then what I think I am gonna do is take a strip of paper and I did these 
but I haven't done it yet, so don't copy these. Uh, 16 by four and a half, and that's just gonna wrap around. So that will keep it together. We'll glue it on there, and that will keep this rigid and keep the nice square shape. And then what I'm gonna do is add paper to my box, so that's covered too. So we'll see. I still, like I said, haven't decided that, but this part is pretty much done, okay? Now the next thing that we want to do is put these together. And these are so easy. So you just saw what we, you know, how we did that. And so I'm going to go ahead and fold them all up. And you can fold them all the way over. And that just helps it not want to spring back on you. It's probably my desk paper. Well, that's straight, Naz. I don't know what it is. There has to be a way. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I was so pleased. And there's like this whole space I have here that I can work. It's just amazing. I know it's not going to last, but for now, I can love it. You have a weak spot for boxes, Charlotta. I think we all do. I hope I arrange my thing. You don't have the die yet. Okay. Wondering if the slot with, oh yeah, yeah, it's, oh, you mean a dollar bill going in that way? I don't happen to have a dollar bill, but let's measure it because now we don't have a slot. <laughs> I think it does hold a credit card uh, or a gift card. Let's see. It is, I think a dollar bill is three inches, so no, it wouldn't go this way, but you could fold it and tuck it in so yeah I mean you could definitely fit it is actually oh wait a minute what am I doing yeah uh it's two and a quarter two and a quarter inches wide okay so that would you could definitely get a dollar in there all right so this I've done this wrong a couple times the front piece tucks into the back. It's on the outside, like that. All right, so let's just do tape for this, too, because it's quicker. Wait a minute. I have some... Uh, where did I put it? Oh, in one of my drawers. Wait a minute. Not that drawer. <laughs> I'm still not quite used to my arrangement yet, but yeah, this would work better. I've got some half inch tape and that will be faster. Okay, so let's just go ahead. So this is the inside, so we wanna put them all on here. I'm gonna line them up so I make sure I get them all right. Okay, fold dollar bill, use washi tape to hold a stream of them together. Stack of them together, that'll be cute. I think you're turning the phone to the wrong side. Okay, well, let's try it that way. That might just be weird enough to work, Charlotta. <laughs> I need technicians here to help me with all of this. <laughs> it's enough that I got my, <laughs> my thing cleaned off. I think that was the miracle. How is that? Is that better? Maybe not. I can't tell. There's, uh, oh, there we go. Charlotta, you need to come and assist me at every show. <laughs> it's still not perfect, but wait, let's see. Maybe. All right. If I look up and it's good, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> it's kind of counterintuitive because you think it's going to do one thing and then it does another thing. Kind of like the story of your life. <laughs> That's Facebook. You would love to? Come on down, Charlotta. Have a spare room. Oh, no, I'm... Uh, nope, that was probably worse. So I need to go this way more. All right, let's see what happens now. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? I would be sideways by now. Because I keep just turning it the wrong way. All right, let's put these together. And then I think we're just going to stop because 
I'm going to pick this up on Thursday. All right. Don't get giddy. Quit while you're ahead. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did get worse. All right. I just tilted them a little. No! Go back. Oh, yeah, that is... See, how long a delay is this, for heaven's sake? How's that? I'm going to, like put this thing, I'm going to make a little guide for it and just always have to put it there. I'm going to put these together all at one time. Keep moving it the same way. I know. I'm Laura, I, I can't do two things at once. It's not easy to get it just right. That is for sure. Oops. Don't pull up your tape. I did nothing, unless it's right, and then I did. It is perfect. Oh, this is not bad. I'm going to stay right here. All right, see, it just doesn't look right from where I'm sitting, but who am I to say? All right. Okay, it's not perfect, but... Oh, 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 that is, that is pretty good. I can't believe the delay. This is like a 20 second delay here. Yay! All right, well, good. Only took half an hour. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's get rid of these things. They like to stick everywhere. I don't wanna jiggle. It's close enough, you think? Okay. I'm gonna make a little notch on my on my holder thing so I know how far. I am leaving it alone now, Mez. <laughs> Except I'm sticking my fingers to my box. Alright, I do want to make sure these are not folded over all the way. Okay. So this is going to sit on the ground. Okay. I'll get it with practice. I don't know. Holly, hi Holly Amber. I'm Mara, Mary, Mary, I'm not sure how to say your name. We have a Mari, but it said Mary, M-A-R-I, so I'm not sure. Tell us how to, yeah, it's close to perfect as it's going to get. That is absolutely right. <laughs> okay, see these are coming together nice and quick here. That one... Seems like it should be. I don't know why that's sticking up, though. Hmm. Well, that's all right. All right, I've got this the fourth one. All right. Okay. All right, we have, don't they look like crayon boxes? You know, see, this is weird because we don't, we're missing this piece here. So these look like they're sticking up, but actually this place where we have our, our corner is where it would bump up. See, so these 3D dies, they kill you. Okay, so we've got our little boxes. They look pretty good. And we are going to, well, let's pretend this is the one that we did. Now, there is a little bit of difference here. And you could trim that off if you wanted. But honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. Um, this is slightly lower. Like the back of this is slightly lower than this. You can see there's just a little bit of room. So I think what I'm going to do at the end is build up my center and just put like some scrap mat board, maybe two pieces of it down here so it's bumped up and it's exactly perfect but we'll do that next time so we do have a little gap here but that you know what we could do is do like this and then you could like clip a pen here or some kind of tool if you wanted but what I'm probably going to do is go like this and the reason is if I'm going to cover this with a um, paper or something I, and I 
go to that trouble. I want it to show through. So I'm just going to do that. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is cover my box, but I'm just going to do this around here. I probably won't even do the bottom because we don't need it. Okay. So next time we will be covering this with paper and putting it together. And I think it's going to make a really fun little caddy for your desk because I'm thinking of all the things you could, you know, put in here like scissors, you know, and your pens. You could have all different. And look at these. Friction Ballpoint 05. I found them on Amazon. I'm so excited because they write nice and skinny like my 05 uh, gel pen. So I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of skinny in my life. I don't know how to explain it, but I just like having skinny pens. So that is what I've got for today, guys. Okay, the lines on it deck. That's true, it's more unforgiving. Yes, the surfix is nice, but I'm afraid I've already nicked it. I don't know if you can see it and I don't wanna move it, but I did already put a nick in it here, up here and on the side. However, it is weathered looking, so you know, kind of looks that way anyway. And I did get extra in case I need to fix it. And if I'm going to be cutting or something, I will put something on top. But I was trying to put like, I've got like a, I don't know what you call it, like a shelf on top of this desk that has like all my dies now. It's got my mat board. It's got my embossing folders, adhesives. It has paper, all kinds of stuff up here. And I was trying to, well, the tour's not yet, Lisa. <laughs> I am still working on it because I want to see what things work as I am making things and what things don't work. And I, I am only putting in on the desk things that I use. Um, and Well, actually, this is from my dad's house. Look at his pen holder. So I thought, all right, I'm going to put my, my glue in here. But... Uh, yeah, I will, I promise I will show you it because if I don't do it soon, it's going to get messed up. <laughs> so I want to show you before it gets messed up. Do these dies work in other cutting machines besides Sizzix? Yes, they do, Stacy. They will work in like, um, if you have a cuddle bug, you just have to get, uh, where is my, when you use your cuddle bug, you have to get their extended cutting pads because these are just a little bit too wide. So I know the cuddle bug does. And if you go, uh, if you go online, you can kind of read like, uh, what goes with what, and it has how to adapt different, you know, machines. Most machines work unless they're only designed for like embossing, but these are heavy duty dies. So they need to have a heavy duty machine. Uh, but most of the other ones, the like evolution, I think works the Oh, what's that other one? Cut, cut and boss. Uh, you know, you just have to use their platforms to make it work. But I just love how these came out. I want to make a black journal. I'm dying. Aren't they pretty? Oh. So what else? Any other questions? I'm happy it's scrolling. Oh, and I see pictures. I see your pictures on the side. I see Lisa, I think. Does that mean you're on here? I don't know. Or maybe maybe that just means you're online. I don't know. But anyway, it's the, it's the new Facebook, so I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. Things look all different on here. Are you guys finding that too? Does your feed look different? See, I would think this would be... But i got to lower it here. They work with spellbinders. Okay, I don't have one of those. Okay, thanks, Darlene. Yeah, thanks for the hearts. Okay, well, you know what? We might have to do something like this, don't you think? You could use stamps, too, and white ink, you know? Anyway. All right, guys, you're seeing floating hearts. Me, too. Yeah, doesn't it look weird? Your feed is the same. Ulrika, do you have the old feed? See, mine is the new one. It's whoever is on here. Oh, okay. Good to know. See, Maz, you're you're good at this. I'm... Oh, and look at this. These would even fit in here. 
Don't tell me it would fit four. No, it's too little. It's too, it's just, ugh. Oh, my, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not that we need it to, but <laughs> if it does, I just want to know. If you left a little bit of distance. Oh, I don't know. Would that work? If this was a little bit thinner material. I don't know, guys. No, it's really, I don't want to force it, but interesting idea if you use something like cereal boxes i bet you could fit four of these in here and do like post-it notes or i don't know journaling cards three by four they should fit in here how can i not have a journaling card in sight but i think that let's measure three yep yeah, by four ah Oh, I gotta say, I'm good. Every once in a while. <laughs> so, see, you could. You could do a whole line of these and have all your journaling cards inside. Oh, wait a minute. I just had another idea. Ugh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hang on. I gotta try something. I gotta figure out where I put it. I have to see, is this going to fit in here? Because I will, oh, a mm, little tight. This is the treasure box. So I thought that it might, if you did it out of paper, it would work. Something a, just a little skinnier. Yeah. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, well. Yeah, but still. <laughs> oh, my brain is something wrong with it. But anyway. Oh, in the app, it looks like a new feed, but online in the browser, it looks like the old feed. That's weird. Okay. They don't fit in the treasure box, Lisa, unless you did them out of a real sturdy paper, is what I'm thinking. Or like a, hmm, a thin chipboard would work. And let's see how many. You could probably fit... How many do we have here? Five? Oh yeah, you could fit five. But it would, uh, I don't know, it's tight. I don't want to tell you that it would work, because eh, I don't know. I don't know about that, but it's fun to think about. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to try it. You've never used a journaling card in your life. <laughs> you know, I like how they look. They're just pretty, but honestly... I have painted some backgrounds, and I've used some on the front of cards. So, yeah, I've done a couple. Yes, I do like that, Angie, when the creative juices flow. Yeah. Yes, I did see that, Ulrica. Yeah. Uh-oh, I moved my camera. Ugh, sorry about that. All right, I'm going to go. My husband is here. I'm hoping he will take me out, even if it's just Burger King want to go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go, guys. I'll see you on Thursday, and we will finish up this project, okay? It's going to be fun. And this way, you can put your scissors or something else bigger in there. So this is what it's going to do. You know, it would be fun to get, like, a little carousel or something to put it on, I think. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if there's a little one at, like, Walmart or something. I don't know. Full of possibilities. Stamp pad holders. That would be cute. Stack them up like that. Oh, yeah, because you can pull them out. Ugh, lots of ideas. All right. See you guys on Thursday. Okay? Have a great week. Bye.